Hey guys and welcome back to this tutorial and today I'm going to show how to upgrade your 3DS um, doesn't matter if it's old or new probably and how to upgrade your eminence to 10.7 so first power up your eminent be sure that you don't upgrade your sysnand because it's really hard to get your downgrade if you are on a lower version, higher version, sorry. And I'm using RX tools myself. So let it boot up for a second. <laughs> and there it is. So open up your system settings. And be sure it says RXE or RAE before your version because it is, is it, if it says version or VER you are upgrading your system, your sysnand. And if you do that your eminence is gone and you must start all over again. So be sure it is your actual custom firmware. I had it once when my eminent booted up my sysnand settings and I almost upgraded my sysnand but this is the right version and go to settings here it is Dutch so maybe you can't read it but there it is and on the fourth fourth page in the middle is system update and Right. Okay. <laughs> Accept. Okay. And it's loading now. <laughs> so this is pretty easy. It is just like updating your regular 3DS. And it works. So yeah. So I'm going to pause this video here to not make it too long. Um, you must trust me that I'm not cutting out anything. I just want to save some space on my camera because my SD card isn't the largest. So I will see you when it's done. <laughs> Alright guys, it's almost done. A few more steps. Alright, here it goes. System update is completed. System is rebooting now. <laughs> and now you maybe will notice it will boot in your sysnand. <laughs> and everything here should be pretty normal. Got a message. But nothing you upgraded your firmware so power it off and let me boot into my RX tools again <laughs> hope it will work And it boots up. It says here opening the home menu. Don't turn your system off. And it should boot in you into your home menu. So here's the stuff from the new update. All my games are still here still here. I even got for my old sysnand on my badges 
and let's go into system settings let's open it up <laughs> and as you can see right here I'm on custom firmware 